Hey everyone, it's Bigfoot. Yesterday morning I went for a run and this happened. I just got done with a run this morning. When I left, we were at 4,990 subscribers and that was about 40 minutes ago. So it is 9.54 on my watch and check this out. 5,000. Yes! That's right, 5,000 people. We got 5,000 subscribers in our community. It is so rewarding. I am humbled, I am grateful, I am honored. This is just so cool. I, I can't believe how fast we've been able to grow up to 5,000 subscribers here this year. And as promised, I'm going to announce my plans for my through hike here in the fall. But before I get to that, I'm gonna leave you in suspense for just a couple more minutes. I think you can wait. If you can't, then fast forward. But I want to talk about what my original plans were and then what were some of the other trails that I was thinking about hiking until I landed on my uh, actual third option. So there's three different trails I was thinking about. But before I get to that, originally I was going to try to set the unsupported record or FKT on my home trail, which is the Superior Hiking Trail in September. I set off two weeks for that, thinking that I would hike for it be on the trail for a week, and then have a week off to recover, do whatever I wanted to do. And then the more I thought about it, it's like, man, I could fit this in in just a regular week's vacation with how fast uh, that I want to go. And I would really like to spend those two weeks doing a different trail that I haven't had the opportunity to do yet. So I moved my FKT attempt up. It's going to be at the very end of July. It's either going to start on July 29th, which is a Saturday, or Sunday the 30th, uh, kind of depending on how things work out with work that week. So that's the dates that I am going to be trying to attempt my FKT of the Sabir Hiking Trail. Well, the first trail that drew me in was the Long Trail. And I thought about this for a couple of reasons. Number one, I would be able to be back on the AT for 100 miles. So I thought that would be really cool. Uh, I also really enjoyed hiking through Vermont. It was one of my favorite states. Second, I heard a lot of great things about the long trail. And it was just long enough and just short enough for me to be able to do it in the time and arrange how to get there, how to get back and everything. So that was my first choice. And then when I started thinking about it, like, man, I have a couple weeks and really would like to go to a different part of the country. And then I started thinking about maybe I go outside the country. So my second choice was hiking into Machu Picchu and doing the Inca Trail. I've always wanted to do this trail, and it's still on my bucket list. But just looking at the cost, and also I wanted to probably do that one with somebody else because I think that would be really cool to experience it with another person, especially being outside the country. And I didn't have a lot of friends at the time that could get that time off during that time of the year to do it. So, so I moved that one off the side, and then I landed on my third and final choice, most of you kind of called it in my video. I mentioned I needed to get a permit. I did that for a reason because I figured that most of you kind of figured it out. So, yes, I am through hiking the John Muir Trail. I'm really stoked about this opportunity. When I applied for my permit, I didn't realize how difficult that it was to get a permit on the John Muir Trail. So let me enlighten you for a second. So from what the rangers told, tell me, a thousand people, they were getting a thousand permits per day to try to get in and through hike the Jamio Trail out of Yosemite. Now, of all those permits, I think they give somewhere between 60 to 80 permits away. I, I don't know the exact number. Now, with the permit process this year, you have a 21-day window that you can put on your permit that if you get denied the first day, it will roll into the second day, the third day, so on and so forth. So when you think about it, if we have a thousand people that are applying for a permit each day, and those that don't get it get rolled in the next day, you could have somewhere between 20 to 21,000 people trying to get less than 100 permits. So my original plan was to try to get on the 2nd of September. The second came and I got denied. Then the third, then the fourth, then the fifth, then the sixth, then the seventh. And then I was starting to get a little worried. I'm like, what am I going to do? So I started thinking of different options. There is one place that you can get a walk-up permit, but it's 30 miles down the trail. So how do I figure out how to do that first 30 miles? I guess I could just stay hike it, but I really don't want to. I'd rather just start from the very beginning. And then 
I finally got a confirmation that I got a permit. I will start my John Muir through hike on Sunday, the 10th of September. Not only am I going to start, I get to start in the most popular area. So there's five different areas that you can start the John Muir Trail. The most popular is Happy Isles, Little Yosemite Valley, and I somehow got that a permit for that location. So I'm super stoked. Not only do I get that, I also get a permit to go up Half Dome. So what my plan is, is on the 10th, I'm going to hike up. I have to stay at Little Yosemite Valley, the campground there. It's about five miles in. And then I'll kind of set base camp, and then I will go up Half Dome. I'm so stoked about this. I mean, you guys don't even know. I've, I've always wanted to do this. I've been to Yosemite two different times, and both times I didn't have the opportunity to uh, do Half Dome. So this is super exciting. My plan is to be on the trail for about 14 days. My plane flies into Reno on the uh, 9th of September, and then I'm going to hitch a shuttle uh, down to Yosemite. And then my plane leaves out of Reno on the 25th. So I have to be done no later than the 24th. I'm going to have a little different through hike than the Appalachian Trail. I'm going to take my time and really enjoy it. I plan on doing lots of videoing, lots of photography. And I'm starting to kind of get into that with this uh, mirrorless camera that I bought. So I'm really stoked about this and I, I can't wait, honestly. I mean, I'm just thrilled. So that are, that's my plans. That's when it, it's going to happen. Now, I mentioned that I had an extra surprise that I was going to announce in this video. And that is I am launching my Patreon site as of today. I'll put the details in the links. But uh, I created this for a couple of reasons. Number one is to have an opportunity to be able to share more with you guys, the ones that really are connected with me, that have been supporting me the whole time, and uh, a way for me to be able to kind of show you a little bit more on the personal side of me and uh, give you some more access into what I'm doing. And the second is trying to put myself in a position where I can be able to, to get out on the PCT, which is the next through hike, the next long distance through hike that I want to do, to do that earlier than I want to. So I uh, don't know what that looks like yet, but right now uh, this is just a platform that I'm using to try to help me get to that goal. Now, some of the rewards that I'm going to be giving, uh, first and foremost, uh, one of them is I'm going to share with you my GPS coordinates so that you can actually track me during my FKT. You can track me when I'm out there on the John Muir Trail or whatever hiking that I'm doing. Uh, another reward level that I'm pretty excited about is I am going to give you the opportunity to be a part of a very private group, a uh, Facebook page I created, that I'll actually be doing live video feeds from the trail during my hikes. That includes my FKT hikes. So I wanted to be able to have opportunity to be able to share some of my video footage without having to wait till I come back. And, and that's kind of one of my ways of doing that. So uh, there are some other things too. Uh, one of the reward levels is actually hiking with me uh, for a whole week. So uh, check it out if you're interested, but I'm really excited about it. Thank you so much, everyone. You have been so awesome to me. And I honestly, I'm just so grateful for everything that we've done here in this community. Thanks so much. You guys are the absolute best. Stay tuned for more videos from me and remember to always follow Bigfoot.